everybody. I am Ginger Wolf and welcome Stripped Finance. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. I am a feature entertainer and stripper not a financial consultant. Please speak to your financial advisor about any financial matters. And with that out of the way. Let's get into the video. What is a fund of funds, FOF? A fund of funds. FOF also known as a multi-manager investment, is a pooled investment fund that invests in other types of funds. In other words, its portfolio contains different underlying portfolios of other funds. These holdings replace any investing directly in bonds, stocks, and other types of securities. FOFs usually invest in other mutual funds or hedge funds. They are typically classified as fettered, or only able to invest in funds managed by the FOFs managing company, or in fettered, or able to invest in funds across the market. How a Fund of Funds, FOF, works The Fund of Funds, FOF, strategy aims to achieve broad diversification and appropriate asset allocation with investments in a variety of fund categories that are all wrapped into one portfolio. There are different kinds of FOFs with each type acting on a different investment scheme. A FOF may be structured as a mutual fund, a hedge fund, a private equity fund, or an investment trust. The FOF may be fettered, meaning it only invests in portfolios managed by one investment company. Alternatively, the FOF can be unfettered, letting it invest in external funds controlled by other managers from other companies. Fund of Funds Advantages Typically, FOFs attract small investors who want to get better exposure with fewer risks compared to directly investing in securities, or even in individual funds. Investing in a FOF gives the investor professional wealth management services and expertise. Investing in a FOF also allows investors with limited capital to tap into diversified portfolios with different underlying assets. Many of these would be out of reach for the average retail investor. For example, Hedge funds typically require six-figure minimum investments or require investors to have a minimum net worth, or both. Most FOFs require a formal due diligence procedure for their fund managers, both their own and those managing the underlying funds. Applying managers' backgrounds are checked, which ensures the portfolio handler's background and credentials in the securities industry. Fund of Funds Disadvantages Though FOFs provide diversification and less exposure to market volatility, these returns may be lessened by investment fees that are typically higher than traditional investment funds. Higher fees come from the compounding of fees on top of fees. Like most mutual funds, a FOF carries an annual operating expense, known as the expense ratio, as well as management fees and operating costs. However, FOFs investors are essentially paying double because the underlying funds in the FOF all have their annual costs and fees, too. In the past, funds of funds prospectuses didn't always include the fees of the underlying funds. As of January 2007, the SEC began requiring that these fees be disclosed in a line called Acquired Fund Fees and Expenses AFFE. A fund of funds might charge annual management fees of half a percent to 1% to invest in funds that charge another 1% annual management fee. So, the FOF investor in sum is paying up to 2%. Small wonder that, after allocating the money invested to fees and other payable taxes, the returns of fund of funds investments may generally be lower compared to the profits that single manager funds can provide, even if the funds perform very well. Picking good fund managers and funds can be difficult, too, especially if the FOF is fettered. The FOF may end up owning the same stock or other security through several different funds, thus reducing the actual diversification. Real-world example for fund of funds Since they are so varied, funds of funds can be hard to track as a group and to compare. However, an index does exist. The Barclay Fund of Funds Index, sponsored by Barclay Hedge, a provider of data on alternative investments, is a measure of the average return of all FOFs that report into the company database. Through Q1 2022, for instance, 156 funds of funds had yielded an average return of 0.33% year-to-date.
the S&P 500 during the same period lost more than 7.5%. Are funds of funds common? Dedicated funds of funds may be less common than standalone mutual funds or ETFs. However, the SEC estimates that approximately 40% of all registered funds hold an investment in at least one other fund. Are funds of funds regulated by the SEC? Yes, like all other pooled investment products, FOF are also overseen by the SEC. In particular, SEC Rule 12D14, updated in 2020, sets out procedures that provide a consistent framework for fund of funds arrangements. The SEC also requires FOFs to disclose their fees in a transparent manner. I am Ginger Wolf, and this has been today's episode of Stripped Finance. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment and hit the bell icon for future episodes of Stripped Finance. I will be back tomorrow dancing and stripping down even more financial terms for all of you. So until tomorrow. Hugs and kisses. Ginger and I am sacrificing your bad decisions to the financial fire. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!